President Duterte was just in Boracay yesterday to award land titles to the island's native inhabitants. Those documents should be enough to assert claims on this land. But they're still losing sleep over this, especially now that there are other parties challenging their claim. Maricel Halili tells us more. Boracay natives fret over the extent of their rights despite the government's distribution of certificates of land ownership to them. That's because of the long-standing tug-of-war between the indigenous residents and other claimants. Residents worry because some of those asserting their ownership even have tax declarations to back their claims up. Yung ano lang po namin ay baka maulit din sa amin yung experience namin na kahit wala kaming kasalanan ay kasama kami sa kaso. Kinakasuhan din po kami. From the seven hectares of the land being petitioned by the Ati tribe, only around 3.2 hectares were awarded and would be divided among 44 families. The Ati are the island's oldest residents. But even their leader, Delsa, could no longer count the time she was evicted from her home in favor of other people laying claim on their lands. In this case, we are going to be able to do it. Hindi na, hindi kami makaano ng pag pagmasaya kami magpamilya o kung sa ibang pamilya dahil <coughs> parati na lang ay magano na kayo mag si balot, mag si ayos dahil itong lupa na sa amin ito. She says the tribe only hopes that no more blood would be shed in this fight over ancestral lands. They obviously have not forgotten the 22nd of February in 2013 when their community organizer and spokesperson Dexter Condes was shot dead. Fact-finding teams ruled then that Condes was murdered over ongoing land disputes following the government deciding in favor of the Ati tribe. Now, the Agrarian Reform Department confirms that there are still seven claimants to the land they are awarding to the Ati, but the DAR says... There is nothing to worry about. Boracay is uh, a government owned land under the Presidential Proclamation 1064, which was then issued by no less than President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. It is very clear under the law that tax declaration is not a full proof of ownership. So they shouldn't worry about it. There's no worry. The department adds other ancestral lands are also currently being prepared for distribution to indigenous peoples. For News 5, Marisel Halili, we are One News.